Hi little pickles, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Sorry I've been away for a few days, my little puppy's been poorly and I've been looking after her but I'm back with a new video, with the video that I was planning to film on Wednesday but I'm doing it today which is Saturday. So I'm going to be doing a matte lipstick, liquid lipstick review, um, kind of like a comparison video because sometimes people do a review of like one product and I thought it would be handy to do a review of all different brands. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five brands. So I have Sleek, Bourgeois, um, Makeup Academy. So it's not actually Makeup Academy, it is Makeup Revolution, sorry about that. L'Oreal and Gosh. So to kick things off I thought I would start with Sleek and this is the Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. And this one is in the shade Shabby Chic. Now I believe this is one of the most popular colours and it is a beautiful colour. I'm going to pop it on just so you can see. Now the thing with this one is that it's a really wet formula and you kind of have to work really quickly because it dries super super fast. When you put it on it almost has an oily consistency. I don't really know how else to describe it. Oh, <laughs> major error there where I've already rubbed my lips together. It's and again, mm-hmm, okay. This one does last a really, really long time. The only thing I will say about this one is that it does start to feather in odd places after a couple of hours. Now I have probably worn this for about six hours, which I think is pretty good for a liquid lipstick. But it's just a really, really pretty colour. And I do really like the matteness of this, like it does dry down completely matte. So like now, like you know when you move your mouth and you kind of got that little bit of a crack, like, Oh, I need some balm. So I would give this one a 7 out of 10. I'd just like to add that for this video I have nothing on my lips, so I don't have any primer on my lips, any foundation on my lips, it's just pure lip, um, no lip liner. Um, I don't generally use lip liner for matte liquid lips, so I don't really know why, but I just don't. Um, so I just thought I'd do it how I would normally apply these liquid lipsticks. Next is Bourjois, and this is the Matte Finish um, Light Texture Extreme Comfort 24 Hour Hold. This is the Rouge Edition Velvet, this is in number 7. And this one is a really nice creamy texture, more like a mousse texture. And sometimes I do find with this one you have to reapply over certain areas because it doesn't quite cover um, as thickly as some of the others. I just realised that this is number seven nudist and I also have a L'Oreal matte liquid lipstick in the shade nudist. Interesting. But anyway, so this one as you can see again is more of a pink undertone. It hasn't quite dried down matte yet. The only thing I have noticed about this one is that it doesn't last very long. Now it says 24 hour hold and I love bourgeois products and I don't feel like bourgeois products are talked about enough on YouTube. Um, a lot of their products I absolutely adore. This is a really really nice liquid lipstick but I do find that the formula, when you put it on it's lovely, it's moussey, it dries down but it just doesn't hold and it cracks and it flakes off in odd places and it just doesn't have that mm, hold that you need. I don't mind reapplying a liquid lipstick throughout the day, really, really don't, but I don't want to have to apply it too often, and it's one of those ones that if you put a layer of it over the top of what you've already got on, it ruins it, so you have to take it off and put it on again, if that makes sense. So, as you can see, it's still coming off on the hand, and I mean, that's been a good couple of minutes um, since I applied. Um, it does say matte finish, so I don't think it's meant to dry right down completely matte. I think it's more of a matte finish liquid lipstick um, rather than completely matte. But this one, it does have a slightly tacky feel and it does come off when you're eating and drinking. So I would give this a 5 out of 10. This one that I'm popping on, get it on the braces, is the Makeup Revolution. This is the matte liquid lipstick. This is from a kit. And with this one, you get the lip liner in it, but I thought it would be fair not to put the lip liner on because I'm not wearing any with any of the others. And this is in the shade Echelon. Again, really nice pink, brown, nude colour, and more of a brown undertone. But as you can see already, I've only put it on like two seconds ago, and it's already settling into the cracks. Now, that's the only downside on this liquid lipstick. It's a really, really nice colour, 
has good lasting um, ability but it dries out so quick that you can feel it cracking and you're kind of like oh oh but for the price of it I would say it's really really good value and plus you get a lip liner with it as well so can't really complain too much so I would again give this one a 5 out of 10 now the next one I actually have three shades of this one and this is the L'Oreal lip paint matte and I have the shade 209 in nude on fleek which is this one 210 in dead lips and 212 in nudist now I'm not going to do all three because they're all the same texture I'm just going to do my new favorite which is 209 nude on fleek and this is more of an orangey buttery nude color now the application tip on this is different to the other ones these ones have more of a curved tip so you can get really really into the details of your lips now the consistency on these is different to any of the others this is more of a mousse and it doesn't dry ever dry down completely matte but I love the feel of these I don't know why I'm just obsessed with the feel of them because they're so soft they're matte they don't last as long because they don't dry down completely matte so they do come off when you're eating and drinking but it doesn't matter because you can just keep layering these up and they don't crack or kind of bleed off or flake off when they're placed on top of each other so it doesn't really matter you kind of use them as if you would like a normal lip gloss or a normal liquid lipstick so as you can see that's dried down a bit more matte now it does just keep going matte, more matte but it never completely mattifies as in you can't move your lips because you can completely rub your lips all over each other and it feels really nice and silk and smooth so i would give these an eight out of ten i think these are one of my favorites i have three shades i want to get every single other shade of them next up we have gosh and this is the liquid matte lips um, and this one is in the shade nougat crisp 007 what a shaky little hand. This one is more of a pointed tip. Now I would say this is a weird consistency. Uh, it's kind of gel-like and it's very thick. But the thing I love about this, and I think this is actually one of my favourites, one of my favourite drugstore liquid lipsticks, um, is that it dries down so beautifully. It's not too fast doesn't take too long it's just about the right time to be able to get your shape in before it dries down I hate as you're putting it on and it's dry and you're like oh but I needed to add a bit there and then as soon as you add a bit over the top it starts kind of bulking up and you're like oh for goodness sake and you have to take that area off and then add some more and it's just a palaver but yeah this is just a really really nice nude color it dries down super matte lasts all day like I have literally worn this liquid lipstick for about eight or nine hours definitely would give this one I'd say nine out of ten nine out of ten I love this liquid lipstick well that's it I hope you like that video guys so I'd say the gosh liquid lipstick came out on top and the makeup revolution came out on bottom now it's not to say makeup revolution is bad because they are not i have so many makeup revolution products it is unreal and i love makeup revolution it's a really really nice liquid lipstick it dries a little bit too quick for my liking but other than that the color's beautiful the finish is beautiful it's just little tweaks i'd say but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, my little darlings. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. What are your favourite matte liquid lipsticks? I'd love to hear about them and I'd love to try them out. So let me know in the comment section down below. Please give this video a big old thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if that's what you want to do. And I'll see you on the next video. Love you.